What's going on guys? How is everybody doing? So a week or two ago, I put out a video talking about damage and how you can go about building your character's artifacts in order to get the most damage out of them. And I still stand by that video, uh, but it was geared more towards your late game players. Those guys who have, they're already getting their five star artifacts. They got five star weapons. They're just balling out their characters. But some of that information is slightly different if you're still in the early game. If you're still working with those tier three, tier four artifacts, this video is going to be for you because there is a key stat that I think most of you are probably building incorrectly. So without further ado, let's hop over to Genshin Impact and let's talk about the attack stat. Now, in that video that I made, we talked about how you want to be prioritizing uh, attack percent, but also if you have like a mixed unit, you want to be building uh, physical damage bonus or elemental damage bonus as well as crit damage, all that kind of stuff. But here's the deal. If you're in the beginner stages, like I said, uh, in like your tier three, tier four artifacts, you're not necessarily going to want to be prioritizing attack percent. You will want to be prioritizing flat attack bonus. So. The two artifacts we're going to be looking at. I have five star uh, level 20 plume on Razor that has a 311 attack bonus. It will always be the same. So if you don't notice, the attack percent and uh, attack flat on your feather will always be the same when it's max. So for a uh, five star feather, you're looking at 311 attack. For four star, you're looking at 232. And for a three star, 123. So we're going to be comparing this we're also going to be comparing uh, the cup that I have on Faisal. So this one has 46.6% attack on it. And it's the same with this. So five star attack percent will go up to 46.6. Your four stars will go to 34.8. And I didn't actually double check this, but as I've noticed, everything is incremental and it stays the same. I'm assuming that three stars will max out at 23%. I don't actually remember the stats on my three star weapons because it goes by so fast. And so most of this will actually be dealing with like the four star artifacts because you're going to age out of three stars so fast. And then when you get to the five stars, it really doesn't matter. And we'll talk about why in a second. So the numbers we're going to be dealing with here are 46.6% attack and 311 attack. Uh, so to talk about this point, we're going to be using Chi Chi. So what we have to realize is that the attack, the flat attack bonus and the attack percent bonus, uh, both deal with our base attack. So there's a couple different ways you can look at attack on a character. So for example, Chi Chi here has 1512 attack. That is not the stat that the flat, well, that is the stat that the flat attack is added on, but the attack percent, say we had a six artifact okay obviously there's only five you can put on it but say all of a sudden we added a sixth if we had 10 percent attack it would not calculate it off this 1512 it would calculate it off her base attack so our base attack we can see right here it's this white number the 909 is all the additives we have from our artifacts the 603 is our base attack now base attack is the same as we discussed in that last video where i talked about damage it's your character's base attack plus your weapons attack. Chi Chi has a base attack. And then if we look at her weapon, the flute, she's getting an additional 370. So together they're adding up to be 603. So that is our base attack. That's what all our percentages are coming off of. So the reason why I'm using Chi Chi is because she's actually at like a pretty, she's almost at the turning point. So if we took a look at these numbers and we said, okay, which one which artifact do we want to max out first? Do we want to max out the artifact that has max uh, attack percentage, or do we want to max out the one that has the flat attack, so the feather? The reason we want to figure this out is because artifacts can get very expensive to get all the way up. So you guys want to figure out what is the most effective way to get the most damage from your character. So if we take a look at this, if we take the 311 attack off the five star feather, and we create a percentage off her base attack, which is 603, we're actually getting a 51.6% increase from the feather. So for our Chi Chi here, it would actually be more effective to max out her feather first than whatever other piece she has on her. Why that's important to know is like I said, you want to figure out which piece is going to be more effective to you to increase your damage. Well, so then you're probably going to ask, when is it actually better to go ahead and increase that attack percent piece? Well, uh, you can figure that out by, you know, some basic math. I'm no mathematician, but basically what we figured out here 
is that if you wanted that 46.6% attack to be better than the feather, you'd need a base attack of 676. So once you get past that threshold, that percentage piece is going to start being better than your feather. But up until that point, the feather is going to be the best piece of gear that you want in terms of damage. Now, taking all this into account, it also doesn't take into account that there are substats on artifacts. So some of that can change up the equation a little bit. But for the most part, they're going to be minimal compared to the main stat. So for all intents and purposes, your feather is going to give you more damage, especially at low levels. Now, the reason why it's especially at low levels is because like I was saying, your base attack is built off your character's level as well as your weapons stat. So if you are still dealing with your three star and four star uh, artifacts, excuse me, it's likely that your weapon is also pretty low rank. And because of that, your weapon stats are probably going to be low. So as we know, dealing with percents, a small percent on top of a small number gives you a really small number. So, for example, if you were dealing with three star artifacts, which are going to have, you know, 23 ish, we'll say uh, percent max. Well, your three star feather is going to be 123. So if you're looking to get the same amount of stats from your three star attack percentage piece versus your three star uh, feather, let's say we need to multiply it by like four or five. You're going to have to get up to like 500, 600 attack. Basically what my Chi Chi here is at, and she's at level 70 with a Ascension 4 weapon, I believe. So you can see here that uh, especially at lower ranks, the flat attack bonus is going to be way better for you than attack percent. But once we do start hitting those higher levels, you start getting those weapons up to like Ascension 5, Ascension 6. You start getting your characters up to around level 70 or 80. Uh, attack percent is going to be way better but that's kind of like why i was saying in that video the information i was talking about still stands when it comes to building your characters for most damage but it uh it is way more effective for the late game players if you are still in the early game flat attack is the way to go so guys hopefully that clears up the whole attack percent versus flat attack thing i'll admit even i was doing it wrong i was stacking all attack percent and then as soon as I figured that out, I went and like maxed out my feather on my razor and his damage was uh, way higher than it was before because uh, he was using a weak feather, but he was using a lot of percentages. So uh, it really does make a difference. If you don't think it does, go ahead and max out your feathers and see how much extra damage you are actually doing. It's really quite astounding and, you know, more damage is more damage. That's all we want to do. It's going to help you clear content faster, more effectively, and it's going to take some of the weight off your other characters that might be under leveled but guys that's all i got for today hopefully you did enjoy if you want to check out more content from me you can head over to my twitch page twitch.tv slash xjazz207 give me a follow over there or if you want to support us right here on youtube you can go ahead and click that subscribe button but guys that's all i got for today hope you did enjoy i'll see you guys in the next video peace